made it. Oh my god. We're in Liming, China, like way out here in this tiny little village. We started walking around and it's like, we're clearly the foreigners here. We're clearly totally out of place. <laughs> this trip is a huge step outside the box for me because I've never traveled internationally before. Jenny and I came into this trip with the idea to explore Liming and put up first ascents here. The first day, we climbed a couple of routes to get a feel for the rock and how the gear feels and how the routes climb. Both Jenny and I are, like have come together as partners because we really like climbing wide cracks. We like have been climbing some together, but haven't had like a super established partnership. My goal for the trip was to put up a first descent and also build a like partnership and collaboration with a strong female climber. Hey. Give her the opportunity to like step into the first ascent world. This rat has two names. Authentic research project, also don't be a pussy. Oh, <laughs> I see calling me a pussy compliment. So let's, let's see what I can do. <laughs> Kat has like 12 or 13 years of climbing experience. She's put up 43 first ascents in Indian Creek and I have put up one. Coming out to China is the first time that I've tried to put up a first ascent anywhere else. It'll be like a fun challenge. This is Dingus. <laughs> What's his name? Dingus. <laughs> Today, Jenny and I go into this area where we don't expect to climb much. We just expect to kind of walk around and, and search for uh, a climb to put up. We kind of wanted to go see like what's developed and what's not. There's so much stuff here to explore. So we like spent the day just hunting for climbs. Right here, let's uh, dump our bags and look around. It was kind of like an interesting experience. <laughs> Whoa, you gotta see the spikes on this plant. Like those are sturdy spikes. If you fell on it, it would fuck you up. It's definitely different than Indian Creek because it's not a desert. There's a lot of vegetation. <laughs> There's just so much like plant life. It's really hard to see. <laughs> I'm allergic to something. <laughs> so we've been walking down across the like edge of the cliff. Out. We've clipped out. We're totally clipped out. And now there's a climb that like looks pretty chassis in the beginning, but then looks like a really splitter crack after that. I wish we could see what's on top of that ledge. Yeah, that's why I was thinking about soloing up this quarter. Whoa. Chastity. Oh, what was that? What happened? I don't know. I, I don't really know what happened. Breathe. You got this. As she was going up, I was like, are you sure you got this? You don't have any protection. How are we, like, but I just like, I trust when someone says they got it to let them get it. And, uh, Whoa. lots of dirt coming down. She got to the top and was like fully trapped. Um, it goes, I can't do it. Oh, it goes. I can't tell if there's anchors at the top. There's a set of bolts drilled at the bottom here. Okay. That, that was not safe in any way. No, it wasn't. Man, I would love a rope. I'll go grab a rope. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, thanks. You feel heroic? I feel so heroic. <laughs> I had my heroin moment <gasps> of the trip. What happened? Oh, my hair is all over the place and it went into the blade of ice. <laughs> Jenny! <laughs> Thank you for rescuing me. You're welcome. Jenny and I definitely had some like bumps in the road. Everything that we were like, oh, that might go, it's got chains at the top. I think we need to go to less developed areas. Like, there's nothing here that's calling us. And if one of those things called us, then we put it up. Yeah, no, like everything that's called to me already has anchors on it. So I'm feeling like, like maybe far away. So we decided to go to the far away buttress. 
There was said to be a lot of potential unplucked lines to still be developed out there. The faraway buttress, which is the, the furthest buttress from where we're staying. <laughs> we actually took a car ride up initially and had to push the car up half the way because it was too steep for him to get us up there. <laughs> <laughs> Should we uh, go to the, the tow here and take a peek around? Yep, for sure. I think that there's a couple in here. And there's both at the bottom. Oh, yeah. That's a beauty. <laughs> That is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Yay! Yay! That's exciting. <laughs> that looks straight out of Indian Creek. We found the line kind of like at the end of our end of our rope, at the end of the trail. <laughs> you could just see this like unbelievable crack. We didn't even have a discussion. When the two of us saw the line, we were kind of like, yeah, this is the one. <laughs> <laughs> We decided that I should be the one to put it up because um, Jenny hadn't had as much experience putting up first descents or putting in bolts. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the cleanest, most beautiful line that we've seen so far. It's so full. <laughs> we're racked up and we're gonna go get it. We did a little cleaning of the bottom. I basically cleaned with my body and my feet and my hands. And then a, a toilet brush that I dragged all the way up there. <laughs> oh my God, I've got such a layer of dirt on me right now. Already? <laughs> yep. Good thing I showered this morning. Listen to this. <laughs> that sounds bummer. First attempt was like pretty humbling. It took way longer than I anticipated because they didn't know the rock well enough to trust what I could put gear in and what I could fall on and what I could move on. Crazy how it's like balls hot in the sun and I'm freezing. Cat had like experienced just the, the burl fest that it was. I think that was five hours flame. That was a record breaker. I don't think I've ever belayed for five hours before. Got to the top after like an epically long belay and got in one bolt. The crack was a lot dirtier than we thought it was gonna be. Loose flakes, there's a big plant in the bottom of it. I think it was just slow progress, like really slow. Oh wow, that was a long time. <laughs> that was a very long time. <laughs> Jenny and I went up it again in order to put up the second bolt together. We put in these four and a half inch monster bolts that were just huge. She turned to me and was like, don't you think it's long enough? And I was like, if you put that bolt in there and the hanger isn't flush to the wall, you're gonna wanna cry because that bolt's not gonna come out and you're gonna have to drill another hole. And she just started hammering way harder than she'd hammered before. There's no way. There's no way we're drilling another hole tonight. This is what happened. Yeah, it has to poop. It's really cold. <laughs> The plan today is to go up to the route and give it some lead attempts, and I don't know what to expect. I'm pretty sure the rack is 20 to 25 pounds, hanging like straight off my shoulders. It's not ideal for <laughs> pulling really steep off fingers moves. You got it, you got it. I don't have it, I don't okay, have it. Ah! That is really hard. Very quickly we realized how steep it was. The first crux, overhanging thin hands. Damn it. Our first attempt was like pretty humbling. <laughs> ah, fucking A. Bullshit motherfucking fuck face. Ah, no. <laughs> That's interesting. It's not gonna work though. <laughs> Yeah. 
I decided to just ah. keep working through ah. all the cruxes. Ah. Yeah, take please. <sighs> Whoa. We didn't pick an easy one. We didn't pick an easy one at all. The second crux is pulling out of a awkward squeeze into a rattly fist. Ah. Cat starts grinding and doing off with, and then this whole other like screaming beastly side of her just like takes over. And the, the final crux of the route is endurance. <laughs> I'm so worked. That's not much gear for the second half of the route. Yep, it's hard. This climb's given us a run for our money. Get one crux and then get cruxed out on the next crux. Okay, well we we knew this wasn't gonna be easy, but now we know that it's like really super legit not easy. It's gonna take a little bit of putting things together and, and figuring out where gear goes and where your body goes to send it. So we went back up the next day and we struggled on it together. Take. Shit. Take. Take it's again. hard. It's brutal. It hurts. So we wrapped it up again, went down, went back the next day. And then the next day. Are you kidding me? And the following day, and every single day, came back the next day, the next day, the following day, and then the next day. And it just goes and goes and goes. I feel like I'm having deja vu. Oh, this rag is heavy. I knew that it was gonna push both of us, but I didn't think that it was gonna be what then consumed the rest of our trip. Yeah, take. Yeah, take. We ran out of time for the day, went back down to town, and I started to think about like, oh shit, what if we can't do this? I thought of Limin as kind of being off on its own, and it's not. Limin is actually kind of the hub for all of the other little communities that surround it. It's this really tiny town, and on market day, it just explodes with people. Twice a month, they all bring in like all their wares and, and sell it in the streets of Limin. That's adorable. <laughs> we'd both been on the cruxes enough. We felt comfortable with how we'd figured them out. We both had a plan for our rack. We were both really ready to send it. The like possibility of her getting it, you could feel it. She passed through the first crux and then like just made it through the squeeze. There's still like 50 feet of route to climb. But the hard part is over. My left foot is on like a little tiny flake and just that flake popped off. Oh, it's so close. So close. <sighs> that, that moment sure sucked. I was really ready to do it. I was ready to not hike up there again. I was ready to not climb the whole bottom section again. I think I had just expected it to happen that day. I told you this climb has issues. 
It's got that I love you, I hate you thing. <laughs> like, I love you, come climb me. I hate you. I'm gonna make your life miserable. Okay, girl. Okay, like that. Ooh. Ooh. God damn it. <gasps> Holy mother. What happened? Did you yeah. get stuck? Yeah. Uh. Are you okay? You need to come down? Yeah. Okay. Just her when it happened. I think it's gonna be okay. Definitely like spooked my nerves a little bit because I had a back injury that happened the same way about a year ago. My ankle and my elbow could definitely use a, like a break tomorrow if that's what feels good to your body. Yeah, why don't we plan on a rest day tomorrow? And then come back our last day. That is not our last day, is it? Ah! God, I hate it. Why? It's weird like the importance of sending this thing put a lot of work and a lot of heart into this climb. I want to see it go. I had not intended to pick something so hard. I didn't intend to pick something as hard either. So here I am, like on the hardest hard, on the other <laughs> side of the world, in a time crunch. That's what China had in store for us. We got a few more days. See where it takes us. Get it. Get that foot. Get it. Ding dong. From the day that we arrived, we had a few people asking, did we have big gear? And everyone who was questioning for the big gear was a crew of girls. A few of them really wanted to try this climb called off with research project that requires a nine or big bros. And Jenny and I happened to have them, both of them. Our time here is so limited and I really want to enjoy this place and enjoy this experience. And Kat and I decided that we would just take a break from the project and we're gonna go up to Pillars and get on the Off With Research project. Okay, Kat, take. You are welcome to use my knee and elbow pad if you want to, it's oh, a lot you. of chicken wings. Wow, well, this is super exhausting. <laughs> My favorite thing in the world is to like, watch people just either get on off with or maybe start yeah. to like it. And you're gonna work your way up this way. Get that foot up. And push yeah. Up that foot. Yep. yeah, there you go. Nice. Oh my God. Yeah, 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 I'm yeah. not sure yeah. that many of them actually started to like off with. Oh, he's getting these little clips. Makes life so much better. <laughs> I just wanted to like freaking face climb up here. That's so much easier. <laughs> he just loves oh. you. Hello, Faria. Oh, yeah, nice One job. of the girls, this girl named Patricia. She's like, I don't know if I should lead it or if I should top rope it. Like, I don't even know how to use a bro. <laughs> Kat showed her how to place big bros, and I gave her the rundown on how to use the number nine cam, and she tied in and just crushed it. Setting Patricia up for that climb, it kind of made me think of the, the important part of mentorship. It's not just showing somebody how to do something. It's, it's supporting through the whole process. Okay. Thank you so much. Yay, nice job. Oh, that was a team effort. <laughs> How did it feel? Oh, it's good. I was expecting to struggle a lot more, but I still struggled. <laughs> Crushed it. Off you go. Going out and climbing other stuff for, for the day was a nice break from kind of this like looming monster of a route. So I woke up this morning feeling like fully rested and ready to go and being like, oh, I got this. Like, today's the day. So basically what they're saying is that there is a flood coming down the Yangtze. So if it floods it here, you'll be stuck here. What he is suggesting is that we, be, you know, you either stay for a week or so or you leave today. Yeah. Everybody is leaving now, looks like. Shit. <laughs> There's a flood that's like gonna come through and we have to evacuate today. Otherwise we could get stuck here up to like two weeks. I don't feel like I was ready to leave on any level because I think that it is one of those beautiful places in the world that just steal your heart. I just have a lot of gratitude for the whole experience and a lot of gratitude for the crack. It's okay. It's okay that I didn't send it. It doesn't mean that I didn't go to China and have a rad time and go on an adventure. The send doesn't, doesn't make or break it. So yeah, definitely okay with it.